Shoot one there, shoot one there. And my game just crashed. Just completely crashed to desktop as soon as I shot the second portal. <sighs> okay. Okay, so it's continuing from here, so I know what I'm doing. So I'll set it up and see you in a sec. And we're ready. Begin. Presses the button. Runs round like a pro. Grab the cube. Run round as well. Puts it on the back one. I put it on the front one. We both shoot there. I shoot that. And victory. Okay. I should have brought a cube. Oh! Oh no. I guess not. Is it just to... Is it to let me press that button? So I can't quite press it. Hang on, let's try this. Ooh, press the button. Nope. Nope, okay. I don't know, I don't know what, I don't know, it's not letting me press the button. Alright, um, so what do I need? I need the cube, how do I get the cube? I open that, how on earth do I open that? Oh, do I need to, to have a past me do this? And then do I like jump off the past me's back, Mario style? Like Mario and Yoshi? It's worth a go, I guess. Alright. Record. Jump. Okay. Nope. We are different trajectories. Nope. We are exactly the same trajectory. And that didn't help either. Also, those things under the floor aren't layered properly because they keep fading out of view. Oh. How did I have... How... How am I affecting my trajectory that much? I didn't think you could with aerial fade plates. I thought they were very... stationary. Yes. Bloody hell. That took a lot of jumps to get me back up here. What does this even do? Oh! Oh, I see, I'm on the other side now! Okay. What good does that do? What happens if I press this? Does that open that? No. Do it again? It does nothing. I also need that one pressed. That That's a cube one though. How the hell do I get that cube? Presumably by activating that button. I really don't like the anti-gravity thing that's going on here. Hmm. Is that portable? Yes, it is. Okay. Um. Let 
Right. What if I drop in here? Can I get on here? No, not quite. Oh, hang on, I can... I can, uh... Faith plate myself in here. By doing this! Oh! I should have got the cube while I was up there. Right, I'll try that again. So I faith plate myself into there, which then flings me up to hit the button. Yes, so I get that. Press that. And then give my, myself the additional momentum. Is that, is that happening? Nope, not quite. Now I have to faith plate myself again. And I do the, the little weird momentum trick to get up here. And then I hold that. Thank you. Bloody hell. That one, it just took me freaking ages to see the portable thing. I just thought it was a part of the floor. Didn't notice it was slightly differently coloured. Gotta look out for this sort of thing. The, the sort of eerie silence is getting to me on this. Okay. Oh, God. So... What do we have? A button that deactivates that temporarily. A button that deactivates that temporarily. And a button that deactivates that temporarily. Hmm. Well... Surely it's as difficult as... No, it can't be that easy, surely. No, okay, I'm I'm gonna I have an idea of how easy it could be, but Alright, let's give it a go. Press the button. Press the button. Press the button. Stand on thing. And if it's as simple as I think it is, then I don't know why there are portal things all over the place. That's what's worrying me. You see? Oh. Well. Lucky I don't need that. Uh, lucky I don't need to put the cube down at all. Yeah, go on, go stand on the thing, would you? Why the hell are the portal things all over the walls? That was really easy. Really, really easy. Why were there portal things everywhere? No idea. Number eight. So it feels like he's mocking me now. Uh, button. Turns that off and creates a sphere. Temporarily. So that's going to get destroyed when that comes back on, presumably? Let's, let's just check. Yes. Okay. And I see the sphere, it needs to go onto that side. So I shoot one there and one there. Presumably. Oh, I see. It's another one of these sort of double duty ones where I've got to do this, the same thing as my counterpart, except this time we have to cross over. Okay, no, it seems fairly easy. Or is it? Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't know. There should be enough time to, to sort of record both. So I activate that, then I quickly run over here, begin recording, activate that, shoot one there, shoot one there, wait for the cube, and carry it through, drop it on the thing, and stop recording. Okay, that's going to be cutting it very fine, but it shouldn't be as bad for me if I just need to... Okay, I think I know what I'm doing. Let's give it a go. Press that. So that creates this one. Oh, sorry, shit. Uh, shoot one there, shoot one there. Drop that on there. Go through and... Oh, that was good. That was tight. Tight work, Garen. Thank you, clone. Why is it reset the count? Hmm. Um. Very fancy. GLaDOS did it faster. Just gonna point that out. What's this? It wants me to put the thing in there. This doesn't at all feel like a massive trap. What's that down there? Death water, by the look of it. Can't help but notice there's a little li line of pixels there that's out of place. A, 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 a pine of lixels. Alright, I'll play ball. What's going on? Alright, it's taken away my time machine and given me a funnel that leads to heaven. Oh, right! I'm going back in time now. Uh, there's the Borealis going backwards. Bye bye. There's the trap. The devious trap being reconstructed. There's GLaDOS freaking out for some reason. What? Why are you still here? You are free. Okay. Is that it? That's how it ends. Okay. All right. Is that how it? Yes, that's it. Okay. That ending made no sense at all. That story was really, really bizarre. And it's definitely not a lag thing. This there is just like a gif as a background thing for this title that keeps you setting. You see when it jitters like that I thought that was a frame rate thing but my frame rate isn't changing so that is just the background gif uh, resetting. Anyway um okay that was it. So that's what three episodes? Four episodes? So um okay I guess I'll give it a bit of an evaluation now. Uh, it was incredibly short incredibly short. I got stuck like twice and that's one because I had no idea it would have magical gravity reversing abilities on the bloody things that should have been shown or explained or in some way indicated without me having to just like trial and error for freaking ages. And the other one I just didn't notice the portable wall. Mechanic wise the time thing was beautiful it was amazing it is the one of the best mechanics i've seen in a puzzle game ever if there was a portal if, if, they, if they are going to do a portal 3 which to be honest i personally don't think they are if they do a portal 3 they should have time travel like that and then the plot can be you know something that makes some some semblance of sense 
rather than just being like, here's the Borealis because, hey, we have the asset for it. And here are two voices who are clearly Peabody and Atlas talking about something that doesn't make any sense in a plot that doesn't make any sense that time reverses and then just machines go backwards because the, uh, the lift coming back down, that, that wasn't time reversing because GLaDOS sort of knew you'd left. So that was something else that was strange. And if time reverses and you don't do anything to change it, it'll just repeat. So I guess the whole GLaDOS SOS reversing time to stop Atlas and Peabody from breaking her? Or was it the releasing of Shell that broke her? It not explained even slightly. This is all we get. But as a free fan-made mod, this has fantastic potential. And there are community test maps, so you can sort of go onto the Steam Workshop, download your own, play on them, and I'm sure some people can do incredible work with them, but this could have been more, and this should have been more, than just, like, an hour or two of just really well-crafted levels, but still just that. I'd have preferred if they'd just come completely done away with the plot and not try to explain it at all, just... I suppose you had to because it's Shell, but still... I would have been perfectly happy if they hadn't tried to explain it at all and just had Shell doing, like, twice the number of puzzles, maybe more. Maybe something the length of the original Portal was what I was hoping for, but uh, we didn't get it. So, that's the end of Thinking with Time Machine. The, the choice here is either I go on and do Aperture Tag straight away, because this really didn't take up much time at all, and I've already bought Aperture Tag, and I'd quite like to, to play it for the channel, preferably, but I, I will be happy to just play it on my own if need be. Or, I'm getting rid of the community maps thing, because I I don't really fancy going through any community maps. So the only other thing is uh, moving Slime Rancher to this slot. Because I'm uh, presumably uh, at the end of this, by the time the series is, is ended, I'm still doing Garen River vs. Slime Rancher. And my channel is really full even uh, without that. So I will just move that to the Garen River versus slot every four days a new episode. So that's the choice. Uh, I'm not offering a Garen River versus poll at this time because I do have a Garen River versus going and just plenty of stuff on the channel at the moment. So I put, post in the comments, Aperture Tag or Garen River versus Slime Rancher. Obviously, Slime Rancher is currently going, but that just means it'll take up the slot, or I will do the, a full playthrough of Aperture Tag, which is presumably longer than two hours long, because this was ridiculously short. But yes, those are your options. Go upvote in the comments, and whichever one wins, wins. So thank you very much for watching this incredibly short Let's Play. This is the shortest Let's Play I've ever done, I think, as a full series. So yeah, thank you very much, and... Catch you later.